Three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition, good control. There's Mach 1. The pilots have started trimming for that turn towards space. Trim is now set. There is max Q. That's the point of maximum pressure exerted on the vehicle by the atmosphere. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs right now and traveling over a thousand miles an hour. That's incredible. I can imagine they're having quite a great time. We're at Mach 2. We're in the vertical headed towards space. This is the part where they're seeing Earth move away and seeing space come into view and seeing that they're going to space and just, it is an incredible feeling. The so we've got about Mach 2.8, Mach 3 approximately, and rocket motor cutoff. Amazing. The crowds here are just <laughs> absolutely going wild. I can't imagine what's happening in Antigua with them cheering them on. That's Incredible. Awesome. Go Keisha. Go Anna. <laughs> go John. So everybody on board has been cleared to unstrap and enjoy that zero G experience. The pilots have unlocked the feather. That's the preparation so that they can raise the feather here momentarily. They're engaging the RCS as well. The feather is now starting to move on its way up. Everyone's up out of their seats. Just oh, it's incredible. They're the all, I know, they're, it's, in, it's amazing. They're all going to the window and taking in this just absolutely incredible view of Earth, the planet where all of their experiences are held. Everything they've ever known That's is wonderful. down below. The feather is all the way up. We have a predicted apogee of about 289,000 feet. That is amazing. Our crew looks like they're having an absolutely incredible time and they are officially astronauts. Welcome to space. Woo. Congratulations <laughs> to John, to Keisha, to Anna on becoming astronauts today. And a special congratulations to our Unity pilot, Kelly, for her first space flight. And welcome back to space, CJ and Beth. And the vehicle is oriented in that that backflip or that upside down maneuver from our perspective uh, and you can see them just enjoying that view of the earth below. Oh, the, man, it's just incredible. I, I can see that they just can't take their eyes away and it's, you know, it's hard for us to describe. We can obviously see they're having just an incredible time in space taking in the views, but it's an experience. It's the silence. It's the views. It's yes. seeing our brilliant planet against the matte black of space. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. What, I mean, I, could, I can't imagine what they're going through right now, and I can't wait to hear about it. Yeah. Well, we just achieved. Again, our we're listening to the voice, listening to the voice of Virgin Galactic feet. Mission That's Control. But let's bring in uh, Commander Eileen Collins, Amazing. and let's and also bring in Clayton Anderson, two NASA veteran NASA experience. astronauts. Uh, folks, what's it like to really experience that for the first time? Clayton, we'll start with you because we missed you the last time. It's just, and we take a moment well, thanks, Tom. Uh, you know, microgravity and being weightless in space is an amazing experience. Uh, I know if I were them, I would be excited about doing it, but I would be longing for a much longer time period. Right? They're going to get a taste of it. Once you have that taste, you have the time in microgravity that they're going to have the opportunity to do. So, uh, kudos to them. Congratulations to Virgin Galactic. Uh, Commander Eileen Collins, you've spent many, many days uh, on orbit, and I'm what's just wondering, what was the first time like for you? What did you experience? Was it just a total rush that almost out, was an out-of-body experience? Well, I'm going to answer that, but first of all, I want to say uh, kudos to the commander, uh, who no one mentions his name, but it is C.J. Sturkow, former shuttle astronaut and commander who's flying the Spaceship Two right now. Uh, C.J. Sturkow, he's also a former Marine and a former office mate of mine, flew the shuttle four times, so I'm really proud of what he's doing. But the um, my first experience in space was very clumsy. I unstrapped from my seat, I got out, and I immediately hit the other seat 
and then I hit a panel of switches, and then I hit the ceiling, I hit the floor. It, it, you need to get used. It's like learning how to skateboard or learning how to roller skate for the first time. It's a it's a skill you need to you need to learn. Uh, you mentioned the commander is uh, C.J. Sturkow, and of course the pilot is Kelly Latimer. So we do want to make sure we mention them as well. Uh, and then I'm just wondering. By the way, they're now back in their seats, and they're now going to begin the reentry process. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.